Hello everyone, welcome to The Cool Factor, this is Mike. The Bonsai Tree, a set that is sold out as I'm recording this review because it became so popular for many good reasons. It's beautiful, it has everything you may expect, you want kind of from an adult-based um, display set of all because it doesn't really have any play features. It does come in this beautiful elegant black box which LEGO is right now making to cater to the A4 community. Specifically, this uh, has an 18 plus marking on the box, but let's be real, this is kind of like a marketing gimmick, if you will, to get people like me to buy this set because honestly the build is not obviously that uh, complicated to uh, justify an 18 plus marking. We have set number 10281, 878 pieces and the price tag of 50 bucks. Well, not only this set looks beautiful, uh, I'm gonna try to get a lot of cool shots to show you, the uh, cool angles of this one in this review, but many people uh, possibly got this one just because of the plentifulness, is that even a word? Perhaps, of the pink frogs. I believe we have like 100 of them and um, people were asking, does this look good with the pink frogs on in the blossoming uh, cherry tree version? I would say yes. So let's dive into small things that this set offers on top of the pink frogs that make it that much special. The set is an interesting build actually. It comes with only six bags, four of these bags, complete the green version of the tree. I'm gonna get to that in a second. We're gonna assemble the, the green tree, which is pretty simple, kind of a modular situation right here. But we get four bags. The fifth bag gets you the, the pink frogs actually. So you get this version that I actually am a big became a big fan of once I put it together. And the sixth bag gets you this wooden uh, stand that pretty much resembles those cute uh, beautiful, elegant Japanese display stands made from wood or bamboo or whatever it is. I'm not an expert on bonsai trees, but you can see them in many probably Japanese houses or people just being fans of the Japanese culture and the bonsai tree cultivation of sorts. And this is just a simple build, but it works so well for this one. Uh, and you can just put the tree on it uh, because the tree comes itself in a, in a sort of like a, a pot, I'm not sure it's even a pot, how do you even call this, a, a, a black tray that holds uh, a, a fake dirt or whatever the tree needs to grow in there. The cool thing about this, um, the whole pot here, is that it comes with the uh, Speed Champions tires, I believe, or these are actually used in some of the F1 sets. Uh, also, I think from Speed Champions, but car tires that make this... Uh, I'm gonna squeak a bit, I don't, I don't really like this sound, but that makes this whole thing not slide. So you can either put it on the provided stand, you can put it on any surface, and it will just stay in place so there is no risk of the tree just sliding off the table and falling over. Because it's pretty fragile, I'm not gonna lie, uh, the way it's put together, you don't really wanna drop it on the floor. It's uh, The looks are there, but you know, the, the fragility is also there, so you don't wanna grab this tree by... I mean, you can kind of do it, but the way it's connected inside, it's not really recommended to do so. Uh, so, I mentioned that this set has 878 pieces, right? Please remember that we get 200 of those circular um, tiles to fill out, to, to serve as a dirt, to serve as the soil for our tree. Soil is, I think, a better word than a dirt. You get 50 in, of each color, four colors total, so with extras, you get actual 204 of these. So it's a similar situation like we had with the ship in a bottle set from LEGO Ideas where, you know, the, the piece count was kind of misleading because a lot of these were just like clear blue tiles to serve as the water inside the ship of, in, in the bottle. Uh, so there's a similar situation. So the actual set is only like six, 670 uh, pieces or, or so, but uh, they just work wonders, especially with the fact that the tree's trunk, the tree main structure is made from different uh, shapes of brown, different um, ways of going about the roots of the tree and I especially like the fact that one side has this like kind of springing forward root that uh, you know similar bonsai trees would have in the real life and it co comes back together back to the soil uh, and it's really depicted nicely with that piece on, in the Lego set and once you like flow all these little tiles inside it kind of covers the root of the tree and it just works great uh, to make this that, mu that much more of an organic look, right? Uh, the connection point inside, I'm not gonna remove all these pieces right now, but there is a, a circular socket inside, uh, one of those like um, ratcheted socket joints for uh, rotation, and the, the way it's done inside, 
allows you to suck it in and also get the tree in a bit of a canted position so it's not fully perpendicular to the actual tray which makes this you know again that much more of an organic look well let's get to uh, the looks are here you can see the shots right here but let's get to the way you can change in between the blossoming tree and uh, the green tree and you decide which one is better like i tried both i built this thing on the stream and i think me and my chat agreed that the pink version the froggy version uh, actually uh, works better in this situation and it's much more popping much more interesting unique if you will much more of a creative approach um okay let's do it right now actually and see uh, you're gonna see for yourself so take a closer look at the current pink version of the tree and now let us switch to the the green version commencing right now So you basically remove the four sections of the tree that are um, connected with those Technic pins on different points of the tree, three to those uh, uh, kind of branches of the tree, which are great by using those curved pieces, um, get this organic shape much better. There's a, you know, a brown frog, even in this set, a single brown frog is here as well, that only represents piece of wood on the tree. And there is also a top section with a little Technic arm that is a bit different than the others, but just makes the the canopy, the top of the canopy of the tree. So let's get the green ones and you're going to see for yourself how much different it is. There you go. And you can tell it's fairly easy. It takes about 30 seconds between each version. So there is no thinking about which one you want. One day you can have this version, the other way you can have the other. It's super easy to switch, which I, I praise LEGO for doing that really cool two-in-one feature in this set um, and it just looks great in this way more organic more natural you know uh, maybe a different species of the tree if so if such um, if you don't like the pink frogs which in my opinion actually work pretty well for this set you may very well go for the uh, green tree and I've seen people buying two versions of this set if you can actually find two in stock uh, just to get both versions at once because they both look great and they both have their own appeal. And you know what? I'm gonna say that I think the only downside of this set that I uh, actually found, uh, overall I think it's a great value for the price. For 50 bucks, getting that many pieces and that much of a looker is definitely a great value. The only thing that I did not find uh, amusing is that you build the first version, the green one, which is much easier to put together. It just takes less time and you, first, you see the first results very quickly before you even get to the stand build, which is the last bag. But once you get to the frog building, this gets daunting. I feel like uh, I've built this on the live stream. It's repetitive because each of those uh, white sections, white canopy sections with the frogs and the green flower is the same. So you build like what? One, two, three, four, five, six times three, 18 times over, uh, plus two, 20 times over, because there's a section with only two of these, but 20 times over, each has at least five frogs, two flowers or three flowers sometimes, if you wish, uh, two of those white pieces. So that's a lot of repetitive building. And you know, because it's in the later section of this set, it, it feels like you've done the best part and to get to the really cool result, you gotta get through some tedious parts of the build. And then, you know, it kind of takes away from the building experience. But that's the only complaint I actually have about this set. Uh, let me just tell you that uh, when I finished this set and I went to show it to my wife, she actually asked me to put it to get to put it on display in in our living room in their kitchen or whatever we have some plants over to, to just join them and that never happens actually she asked me to keep my lego contained within my studio there is pretty much no allowance to have any sort of bigger legos or even smaller lego set anywhere in their house so when she said that i can put the bonsai tree somewhere in the living room to uh, accompany other plants that means that this set really, really appeals to non-LEGO fans and people who are just not that much as much into LEGO as I am or you, the viewers, are, right? So let me just tell you that story because I think it may make uh, many people's decision on whether it's a valuable set. I think it certainly is and well, pretty much my wife confirmed this to me. Um, all right, let's conclude. Well, what do you think? Uh, if you are getting it, if you can, I mean, if this becomes available, you should absolutely get it. I think it's a fantastic looking set. In both versions, I'm, I'm super thrilled to, to have this. If I'm gonna have a chance to get a second one, just to have both versions at once, 
uh, I'm probably gonna do it. But really, again, it's not that necessary because of how fast you can switch in between uh, both versions of the tree. And you know what? Even they uh, they encourage in the manual to build your own version of the tree. Uh, you can you know you can see some of the brick separator versions in the manual, some crazy ones. Even there was a brick set competition. I think uh, it was. It had a lot of entries actually when people were building their own bonsai tree versions and lego is actively encouraging this in the manual so that's pretty cool to see this is a set meant for creatives you can make it your own and if you don't like the, the basic version from the set if you have extra pieces you can totally just remove those and make it your own and it's gonna look amazing as you can see those entries in the brick set competition so there you go a fantastic set overall i would love to see such entries to the lego uh, offering in the future definitely valuable great for adults good display set i'm gonna probably keep it on my desk for a lot of the times it's gonna also travel to my living room or kitchen area for sometimes when we want to have something lego in other parts of the house this set will serve us very very well thank you so much for watching as always of course subscribe like maybe become a member if you want to support my work here at the cool factor and i always appreciate you guys i love you all leave a comment below what you think about this set and i'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Bye. Confidence. Confidence. How do I do this?